Yeah, my name is Apollinaire Kajiruka. It was morning, very early morning, then uh, my uncle, he came and knocked on our door, telling my dad, our president has died, have been shot. The death of the president is going to cause a, a lot of uh, death of Tutsis. After two days or three days, the people starting to kill other people. The national radio was telling all the Hutu to attack Tutsi. All Tutsi in the country must die. So I have to leave my house. Where am I going? Maybe in a few minutes I will die. You can't say, okay, me, I have to go with my dad or my, my uncle, because hiding is hiding. You can't take a group to go to hide. I didn't take anything. On the radio to see, to try to get some information. The radio was saying, kill this, kill this, close this road, go there, the enemy is there, the cockroach is there. E even that time you can't think about you, you are hungry or not, no. You think about your life. For the first day, uh, I went to see my, my friend. I choose Pascal because, first of all, Pascal was a Hutu. Nobody was looking for him to kill him. He must have been killed if they knew that I was hiding in his house. So many people be killed and they are Hutu because they were trying to hide some of Tutsi. I knew that, but I don't have choice. I don't have another choice. And him, he do sacrifice for me. I was trying to ask Pascal if he knows at least where is my family, he said, no. Later I found out that they have been, they had already died. I, I don't have mom, I don't have dad, I don't have brothers, I don't have sisters. You cry, you, you, you think, you spend a lot of time without sleeping, you, sometimes you see them, sometimes you, you feel they are still alive, but they are not. But uh, my life continues. I have to find a job, work hard, get married and get children and get another family. But not to forget, but to rebuild your life again.